Okay, so a decade box is a rather rage these days, right? So I had to have one. Uh, oh, I'm not really sure why, but I was sure I had to have one. Um, actually, I was watching uh, a video, and I highly recommend it. Actually, it's, it's well done. Dave Sterl of uh, Belfast, Ireland. Um, if you're familiar with any of the, the uh, technicians who do uh, a few uh, YouTube uh, videos, uh, Dave's is... Uh, uh, a great channel. I highly recommend it. Uh, so there's no point in me actually doing uh, um, any kind of review on this decade box. Uh, here it is, thirty bucks Canadian, and uh, as I always say, you get what you pay for, right? But th that's not the point. Um, I'll thoroughly read through the manual here. That strangely only shows me four decades, and the product's got five. But fortunately, I ordered five, so. Uh, Anyway, never mind. Um, straightforward, they use a decade box. I'm not going to bore anybody with that. But I did actually come across something interesting that I thought might be actually worth actually demonstrating. <clears throat> so we all know how it works. Is I'm not going to go through the, uh, um, the step through the decades, and I'm not even bothered about the tolerances because, uh, again, for thirty bucks, you can imagine how close the tolerances is. That's that's really neither here nor there. But what I did find interesting is I was actually checking the um, how close um, you could actually dial up a particular resistance you had in mind to see how it was. And I actually noticed this. Now, I'm going to focus you in tight on the Vantage here. I've got it on graphing uh, uh, mode so you can actually see the steps as I step through. I think it'll make some sense to you when you actually see me doing it. So... Let me zero my mirror here, just so none of the skeptics actually have issue with it, right? So I'm going. To, I'm on the 50 ohm scale at the moment. I'm just going to zero it. So it's zeroed. Clipping back up to the two posts, and I've actually got zero ohms actually dialed up at the moment. So uh, okay, not too bad, right? Right. So this is. I'm on the 10 times scale. Here's 10 times. Nice, not bad, right? The, so the step makes sense, right? So I'm going to go to 20. Step to 20 makes sense. That looks good. 30. 40. Okay. So here's where I noticed something interesting that I think might be worthwhile actually taking note of because it could actually cause issue depending on what you're actually using the decade box for. So I'm just going to go a uh, select... Uh, my hold mode there because I want to hold this image so we can just discuss it briefly. I'll try not to bore you too much. <clears throat> so again, I'm on 40. I'm on uh, 4 times 10 at the moment. So I'm going to go to 50. So here's 50. So let's hold that. You notice something interesting? In the step there? Because I do. So this is where the uh, the old school Vantage is actually still quite nice because you can get the min-max values. If you go down to the toggle on to the bottom mode here, bottom right hand corner allows you to actually move the cursor across. And so there I'm on, there I've moved the cursor. You can see it here. I hope you can see it. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to see, but you can see it. So I'm just to the left of the step there before I go from 40 to 50. So I'll just come into the actual step itself. The min-max values are shown. And that's not a good minimum value. And neither is that. So you can see the drop here, six ohms, momentarily as you step from 40 to 50 ohms. So I don't think I need to explain the ramifications that that would have on your circuit if you were actually testing something dynamically. That is to say, you had actually voltage on it, and I don't know, maybe you were looking for a time constant on something, and you were trying to try to dial in just the sweet spot on a on a timing circuit or some sort. That's a dead short with this active in the circuit. So be aware of that. It might be wise to actually dial up the value and then actually connect it to the circuit. At least that's what that's telling me. Strangely, it is only that um, particular setting. Well, I say that, you know what, I, in all honesty, I haven't actually checked them all thoroughly yet, to be honest. I checked the a couple, but I don't even remember which ones it was. I checked a couple, and um, I noticed that. So I thought that was a wee bit interesting. 
Um, another thing I thought was interesting is if you actually have this dynamically in the circuit, that is to say you've got a voltage actually going across it and there's active current actually actually flowing through it, I never hear anybody talking about the actual power, right? So these, from what the according to the specs, this box gives you half ohm resistors. So here's the formulas. Power is on there. Right, so you can see in the uh, just just uh, just around the eleven o'clock position, somewhere between eleven and twelve, V squared divided by R gives you the power. If we know the power and we know the voltage, let's assume we're using it for automotive use. Say statically, we're using it at um, twelve point five. See the alternator is now running twelve point five. So we'll take 12.5 times 12.5 for V squared, divide it by the power of the resistor rating in this box, which is a half a watt, and we'll see what we actually get for an R value. So 12.5, our static voltage on the battery, let's say. Again, we're going to square it by multiplying it by itself. And now we know the power divided by 0.5, a half watt resistor. If you go below 312.5 ohms, you're actually exceeding the wattage rating on this box. And I never hear anybody mention that. So a couple of things to be aware of. It might be wise to check the stepping on the, uh, on the decades on your box. Make sure you don't have this situation. And be aware that if you go below that value, and again... A lot of guys use this for automotive work. If you want to go on the safety factor, maybe take 15 volts, alternators, putting out a high voltage, um, try maximum charge the battery, you know, for safety sake. If you're going to use it long term, if you're going to use it in the short term, probably no big deal, right? I mean, they're going to tolerate some tolerance with respect to how much heat they can uh, take, I'm sure. But if you're going to use it hooked up to the circuit for an excessive amount of time, for whatever reason, you might want to be aware of that value. And I, I don't hear anybody mentioning that. But anyway, uh, I hope that's of some value to somebody. And um, as I said, check out uh, Dave Sterl's, uh channel. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right there, Dave. Uh, as I said, he's out of Belfast, Ireland. Great stuff on there. I really like, uh, really like Dave's material. Okay, that's it. Cheers.